Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Chet Buchanan from 98.5 KLUC in Las Vegas. That means nothing to you, but I'm sucking up to these guys because one day we are going to all end up working for them. You're listening to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. What's up? Call us. Get on the air or something like that. 630-785-2510. That is 630-785-2510. And you can get involved. Like them on Twitter at The Edge On Air, Facebook.com slash The Edge On Air. And I'm on Twitter. My account is Hoppy Radio 893. What's your super? I'm rich. Uh, that would be at Ryan Stupridge, S T U P R I C H. It is time for Super Rich News, where Ryan Stupridge reads the news. So, what's happening? Well, this is uh, a high school in uh, Newport Beach, California. I think this might be the same high school I covered when I was on WHCM 88.3 because they had this thing called a fantasy, and I'll clean it out, plot league. And they had, like, drafts. It's like during the football season. Yeah. And they got in big trouble. It was like the whole football team did it. I'm almost positive it's the same school, so I'll look it up while you yeah, talk. Yeah, you'll have so to look it up. So what's going on? Okay, so a Newport Beach High School principal has addressed rumors that a group of boys on campus treat the spring prom as an NFL-style draft, ranking female students and sometimes paying top dollar for first-round picks. Yes. The uh, alleged prom... Same high school? Is it Parkview? No, this is uh, Corona Del Mar High School. Gosh darn it. (laughs) It's the same. uh, It's both in California, so they have that going for them. Yeah. Way to go, California. The alleged prom draft at Corona Del Mar High School was the subject of a letter sent Friday to parents by Principal Kathy Scott. And this is the uh, letter. Or, oh, geez. or at least part of it. What this it draft say? appears to be similar to a sports draft. What I understand is that male students purchase draft tickets and females <laughs> are then drafted as dates for the prom. Oh, Scott my wrote. God. Imagine being the dad of these daughters. Like You find out yeah, that, that this is good. going on. And imagine how awkward... That must have been when she's, like, giving out these emails, and she's like, yeah, we're having this. Um, or the kids at our school, all the jocks, yeah, they're doing this draft, and they're trying to draft your daughter, <laughs> and they're paying the highest bid to get your daughter. Like, Well, it, this is probably a wealthy area, I, I would think, right? It, like, if, if you actually, like, are paying somewhat for— Oh, and you're paying, like, for 130 For the number one overall pick, I guess. That's great. This is like comparable to Ha Ha Clinton Dix in the draft tonight, I guess. I, I have no clue, but here's the other part. <laughs> Think about it. It's not official that she'll say yeah to you. So you're paying a hundred and thirty bucks hoping that she'll say yes. Maybe they're re- maybe as part of the, the rule you're supposed to say yes to whoever they pick. I, I don't know. I don't I mean, think the girls it's are kinda degrading, it. but yeah. Oh, know. it's very degrading. This is awful. It takes women <laughs> back like sixty years, but uh, yeah. It is funny at the same time it's funny, but it's awful. Yeah, well, like, it, well, it's funny because it's just it's California too. It's just like so typical. You know? So laid back, man. Well, yeah. the draft of all the women here. And so the uh, note goes on to say, "I am sure that the intention of this draft is not to be harmful, but it may be. It is not okay for for any student to be objectified or judged in any way." Well, welcome to high school where you get judged all the time. Don't act like this doesn't go on in the halls. I'm not saying by any means. That this is a good thing. I'm not saying by any means that there should be a fantasy draft for prom dates and first <laughs> overall picks and paying money to go up the slot to draft the first overall trading pick. up and trading down. Yeah, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what I'm saying is to say that there's no judging going on in high school. There's some d bags in high school that make fun of everyone. There's the typical cheerleading princess that always has issues and talks smack about the other girls. But once the girls come around, she's nice to them. And then there's the jocks who make fun of the backup on the football team who passes out the water. But when the jock sees that guy, the water boy, they're nice to him. There's tons of judging in high school. That's what high school is about, being terrible people. And then you grow up and you graduate. And then right. you realize you're an adult. So You for realize this, how dumb high school was. <laughs> and how pointless it was. Besides Pretty making much. it to a good college, but we're at ICB, so we didn't succeed at that. <laughs> Besides that, it's pointless <laughs> in the end. It's meaningless. Right. So for this principal super, it's to try and act like there's no judging going on in high school is utterly ridiculous. It's unreal. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, yes, I, I think you're right. Uh, of course I am. 
<laughs> the alleged prom draft was first reported Monday by the Orange County Register, which noted that a tweet posted by the senior class Twitter account last week stated, many drafters on the prowl tomorrow for hashtag free agents, so dress nice ladies. Wait, so what is that again? I'm... The uh, tweet that, that was uh, posted by the senior class uh, um, account on Twitter Why would you... last week, and it Do stated... Do you want to get caught? <laughs> And it stated, many drafters on the prowl tomorrow for hashtag free agents, so dress nice, ladies. Oh, my God. Did they want to get caught? Like, was this, like, a prank just to get in trouble? I think this is a school tradition as we keep reading on. I th- <laughs> oh, man. And they just it got might caught be. now. I, uh, if yeah. they never put that on Twitter, this would never have been news and no one would have ever found out. I feel like, like I they think wanted to get caught. Before. Yeah. And I guess, morons. I, I guess – the girls might be okay with it. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, there's probably always people that aren't okay with it, but some people probably are. If the girls are okay with it, then they have some image issues. They well, have that's some what I'm saying. Self confidence. Yeah. If you're gonna allow these jocks, these terrible people, the worst possible people in high school, we all know them. If you're gonna allow them to draft you. And not go to prom with someone that actually wants to go with you. You yeah. have some issues, honey. Like, if you actually are cool with that, there's something wrong with you. This is right? a pretty interesting article as I'm reading on here. Uh, the account has, sis- has since been deactivated. Uh, and oh, H- of course. They're all tough, super rich. Right, They're right. all tough doing this for the last few years. <laughs> They're all tough saying, oh, we'll have the first overall pick. Once you get caught, you hide behind the keyboard and you end up erasing it. Utterly ridiculous. These are the same guys, super rich, who act like tough guys when they have high school bashes, Project X type party. Oh. Everyone gets drunk, but then the cops come and the pretty boy who has that huge mansion, the same pretty boy who gets all the girls is caught nervous around the cops, yep. and he's not the same tough guy he was when he was drinking shots as an underage teen. We've all seen this, super rich. These are the same high school punks. That are all two-faced. Am I right? Yeah. I, do you agree with me? I agree with you. Thank God you do. <laughs> a uh, Twitter account for CDM Prom underscore Insider was protected and inactive, but there were many public interactions with the account from last week in April 2013, all apparently referring to the alleged draft. To participate, male juniors and seniors draw random numbers but can purchase more desirable draft picks, one student told the Los Angeles <sighs> oh Times. My goodness. A junior paid $140 to get a high to get a high first rank pick so he could select a specific girl with whom he doesn't even speak with, making an awkward situation, the student told the newspaper. My goodness. Yeah. So that so that would be very awkward, yes. Uh and here's a quote from the unidentified student. A lot of the girls respect the draft and stick with those dates. Wait, don't they just go Which is with what it. I was saying. I, I thought they a lot of them would. They're going to say that they respect the draft because all the guys who are doing this draft are the good-looking jocks that they want to go with the prom with, so they just pretend they're cool with it because they don't want to go with the non-geeks or losers yeah, who you don't want to get in the stu- draft. Yeah, and, and instead of trying to take away the draft, they're going to stick with it so they don't get stuck with a nerdy guy. And then maybe or they just saw or, or some un, unpopular guy or, or some unattractive guy, I guess. Without being that edgy, they just put out with it because they're probably not going to go all the way up to prom, but they at least want to be seen because high school is all about image. They at least want to be seen with the good looking quarterback and not the guy who's in the chess club and in the right. academics club. Come on, they're not cool with it. <laughs> no girl in 2014 is cool with being degraded in a draft. Draft. Unless you have confidence issues and maybe some daddy issues on the side. Let's be I, honest. I, I guess all the girls that, that are picked, I, I wonder if they're picked or if they enter the draft. Like, do they enter or do they or are they randomly picked by, like, guys? I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. Because like, you would have to think uh, out of the people to pick, you know, some of the unattractive girls wouldn't be in the draft. Obviously. They'd be like free agents, like undrafted free agents. <laughs> I'm an unrestricted free Can agent. Can you imagine doing that? Unrestricted free agent, five-year contract. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to pick that up. I'm not wasting my money on that. Can you imagine? It's just like gym class, Ryan, when you all pick teams. I was always one of the last people picked. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, the same too. way when these girls aren't being picked, but that's even worse because at the end of the day, I tell myself it's just a pointless but nobody cares ball. you know but this is actually kind of embarrassing like yeah if they hit bit. it and some guy's huge 
basement, and you have like the draft like chalkboard, and it's like <laughs> Chelsea, Mary, and Kim are like unsigned free agents or something. <laughs> you know how awful that is. Just how awful that yeah, is. Yeah, that when that you're that the three bad. girls left, like against the wall waiting to be drafted. Yeah. I don't know how they had it set up, but just imagine the embarrassment yeah, in the I, scrutiny. I know. It, it would be horrible. To, terrible. The more I think about it. Yeah. S- students on campus Tuesday said the controversy was being overblown. So students uh, don't think it's really that big of an issue. The whole purpose was to avoid conflict. It was never to hurt any of the girls' feelings or anyone's feelings, one uh, student said in an interview. If I was the last pick, I'm still going to choose my girlfriend. If the last pick has a girl in mind and and the other guys know who it's going to be, they're going to specifically not pick her. And that's kind of an interesting point because, like, if your boyfriend and girlfriend and you have, like, your number and your girlfriend's in this draft, then you could just pick her, and obviously nothing would be bad about that. But I would love if the girls did a draft of all the guys. Then you would see the outrage. Then you'd see the frustration. But when these males who take creatine and work out all the Dominant males. Oh, yeah. If they... If that happened to them, you would see them cry like a little girl in the corner, maybe like Bieber. But when it happens to girls, they don't care. They're all about looks. That's why men are pigs. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Principal Scott was not speaking publicly about the rumored prom draft. A spokeswoman for you're the principal. Why wouldn't you speak out about it? Email Tuesday, Ryan. You're the principal. Why wouldn't you speak out about it? You're the person they're going to. Uh, but but she did write a letter to parents, and Scott asked them to speak positively about hiding Corona behind the keyboard. High. Of course, you are. <laughs> uh, she also asked parents to talk to their children about the seriousness of this type of activity. Oh my god! Imagine the awkwardness with like that one, like those two, like mom and dads, yeah. who are so religious, and they want you to wait till you're married. So when they find out that you're doing a fantasy draft of girls. Just imagine the outrage and that awkward conversation. So, you're degrading women and you're having a draft? <laughs> and we've told you not to watch sports and you're doing this? What the hell's wrong with you? Right. How would your parents react if they found out you were doing a draft of women? Uh, I, I don't think they would approve, but maybe they'd be happy that I'd get a prom date because I didn't have a prom date. <laughs> <laughs> Same with my parents. <laughs> The Hockey and Super Witch Show.